Skincare Royals. How's everyone doing? Welcome back to our weekly hair topic slash tutorial. Teacher girl, amen. <laughs> All right. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Everything nice to this video, okay? So our main aim is to, we all have one aim, to achieve a beautiful, healthy, gorgeous forehead. And even if you're not interested in growing a long hair, you should be interested in growing a healthy, beautiful hair. Last week, we talked about um, one of the methods of achieving this is by treating your hair to protein every six weeks. Today, we're going to be talking about trimming split end. <laughs> Once you see the Y shape at the ends of your hair, clip it. All right, so today's model is a Mary's. I'm gonna call her here shortly, but before then, um, yeah, I'm gonna call her here shortly, and also we're gonna dive into the short tutorial that I have for you with her hair. Mary's was taking forever to come downstairs, so we're just gonna jump into this. So I already applied the conditioner to our hair. I used the um, Trisemme brand. And if you notice, I was very generous with my application. I made sure that the conditioner uh, was saturated all over her hair. And I did, while doing that, I used my fingers to rig through her hair. As you can see, she has a lot of hair, um, primarily 4B. And she has some 4A going on and um, it's about tailbone length. So, yes. Right, when I was done, I dried her hair quickly with a towel, a very smooth surface towel, baby towel. And now I'm going to massage her scalp with forest with oil. No, it's not coming out. <laughs> yeah, okay. I did that, took that out. Make sure that I shook the bottle very well because this product is infused with biotin, vitamin E and D and some really, really good um, oil. So you want all of that to be properly mixed before you apply. And a little bit goes a long way as you can see. And usually I massage her scalp for a few minutes, um, sometimes four minutes or two minutes, depending on how much time I have. Uh, but I always make sure that her scalp, her, you know, gets a really good massage. And if I don't want to use my fingers, I use the massage brush. Comes in very handy. And I just try to make sure that, and if I notice something, maybe with her edges or back or the nip of her hair, I concentrate on that area. So you want to do that too. So once I was done, I applied... Um, a leave-in conditioner is actually a DIY. I will be making a tutorial on how to make that um, in one of my future videos. So, all right. So when you uh, apply whatever leave-in conditioner that you have, I now applied my Shea Mix, which is basically Shea Butter mixed with some other oil, maybe coconut oil, or in my case, I have some amazing, amazing oils that I mix. That makes it super soft like the macadamia oil and um, some other oils I will be having this for um, on the website shortly the shea mix and I usually conclude you know my um, LCO method I usually conclude by adding a little bit of forest good oil to the hair it's super rich it keeps that hair hydrated for 14 days and more and the kind of shine that it adds to the hair. Oh, God. For some reason, I did not zoom in properly. And I don't know why I used my front camera to, you know, make this video. I regret this so much because you can't see. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to show you shortly what that shine looks like. And I usually apply a little bit to her um, scalp. To keep it refreshed um even if her hair is super long she wants her hair longer so there you go we gonna try to make make sure that her hair grows longer and i'm just using the regular rubber bands to hold it um this rubber band is a little bit loose so i held it like four times the hair was still loose because as i comb it still made it you know more loose but that's what I do just to secure the base and then I start twisting 
Let me know if you want a full tutorial on how I twist my daughter's hair and I will make that happen for you. Usually as I twist, I try to detangle with a white tooth comb. I don't want no tangles. And I usually pamper the ends of a hair. Remember, the ends of your hair are the oldest and most fragile. They are the ones that can easily break. And then you lose all that new growth or length that you have. So you want to be very careful with the ends of your hair. If you can, you want to apply more product like, you know, shea butter or whatever you have. Oils to the ends of your hair. You want to treat it the same way you would treat a fragile old man or old woman and now this is the main highlight of this video so I do don't necessarily flat iron her hair or blow dry her hair just to trim to trim this is all I do I twist the hair and look at this I noticed that I can see some white shaped hair you know at the end of her hair and all I'm doing is clipping it, just cutting it out. That's it. That's how you trim your natural hair. Voila. Easy wheezy. You don't need to apply any kind of heat to your hair. Now, if you haven't trimmed your hair in a while, you might want to twist your hair, like cut the sections a little bit smaller than I did here because it's a jumbo twist. You might want to cut that section very small. Now, this is what I was talking about. You know, look at the shine after I applied um, the first grid oil. I had to use my back camera so you can see the shine. And the way first grid oil treats the hair. Oh my God. Look at that. Rich, black, you know, end result, super shiny, super moisturized, soft. And this is a 4B hair, like I said. I'm uh, just trying to do some length check. And final result, ta-da! <laughs> Simple twists, ends clip. You know, this will help the hair to grow very well because if you don't clip those split ends, it will keep splitting and causing your hair more damage. You might be wondering why your hair is not growing or doing well. It's because probably you haven't clipped that split end in a while. So get that scissors, a really sharp scissors ready and clip clip <laughs> and that's our model of mary how cute is she all right i'm just showing you how rich this twist is yes your natural hair can be this rich and beautiful also i'm glad dear royals you watched this to the end it's a really short one but don't forget to trim those split ends, okay? It's super important. And also don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? So that more can keep coming your way. And <laughs> you want to go to www.mckiz.com, E-N-S-I-K-I-Z, and order a bottle of with oil massage the scalp daily so that when you keep doing all of those things right you keep treating your hair to proteins you know taking care of your split ends and doing all of this healthy adding all of those things to your healthy hair regimen you're gonna see amazing growth and not just for the growth you will retain all that growth okay all right see you next week